Round two, Miyoki versus Sinclair. The whole country's just shifted to the right. Are you standing on its head? Yes, of course. Do you want me to move to the left? Uh, don't be silly. We'll never get our pictures in the paper. Around 24, Sinclair versus Bielke. Oh. I want history to remember me, Nancy, as a regular kind of guy who spoke his mind, who fought for peace who righted wrong where there was no wrong, who, who, I want history to remember me, Nancy, rather than the other way around. Just drink your cocoa, Ron, before the marshmallow melts. Hmm. Cheer up, John. You'll be the best Prime Minister since Billy Snedden. Under Victorian law, it is now illegal to shoot any of the following wildlife. The wedge-footed Gippsland silver-tailed duck, the Western Port Refinery or Slippery Duck, and the MCG oval-breasted outfra duck. But the news isn't all bad for shooters. My government has declared open season on the following species of duck. The book launch duck, the Bruce Ruxton or witch doctor duck, and Canidus duckiensis or leader of the opposition duckus. On second thoughts, don't worry about the last one. He'll shoot himself. Round 66, Bielke versus Howard. And some very intelligent jabs there from the Premier. Uh, roses are red, uh, violets are blue. I'll stay in power, thanks to you. Well, that's what you think. Roses are, well, you know, we, are, we all know perfectly well. And violets are, well, could be and so on and so forth down the road. You mark my words, you're going to get it in the neck or whatever you like to term it. That good doesn't rhyme, but you know perfectly well what I mean, goodness me. Oh, now I wonder who would have said that. Roses are red, violets are blue. It happened to me, it's happening to you. Roses are red, violets are cute. Colleagues of talent should be given the boot. All right, fellow caucus members, comrades, uh, with respect, I think it's time we put our 75% media ownership rule to the vote. Uh, those against? Okay, uh, those in favour. Uh, myself, Comrade Bundy, Comrade Murdoch over there, and Comrade Accordy. Looks like the eyes have it. But uh, you can't do that. I know, you wouldn't read about it, would you? Round 156, Bielke versus Howard, again. Uh, you wouldn't uh, hit uh, a man with glasses, would you? Yes, yes, when I'm Prime Minister, things are going to be different. You mark my words, the same, different. Don't you worry. You, you tell that Howard Jones and the rest of the gibberish party down there in Canberra with their, 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 their artificial incentivation and so forth and fifth and sixth. And, uh, <laughs> then, of course, is the electrical electoral act out with it. Brand new boundaries will put Melbourne and Sydney and Adelaide, all that lot, into one big election. All you want, no, no duplication, no waste. Cut it all, it all out. All Bureaucracies and what all the electorates where the enterprise is here in Queensland across the board. Uh, not that anyone will be bored, but I'm the Prime Minister. You, you mark my worms. Joe Bielke Peterson, the natural choice of four out of every ten Queenslanders. Round 593. How? Do, no, Peacock. Hang on, Bielke. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh,